Okay, Mr. Pincus, you testified that inside the factory there was a storage for hydrochloric acid? Yes, I did. Okay, and you said that the hydrochloric acid was stored next to a machine shop? Correct. And you said that the machine shop included machines that had preset timers? Correct. So the timers could have started the machines to create an ignition? Yes, that's a possibility. You never visited the site of the fire, is that right? Well, not, not after the fire. I've been there before the fire, yes. And when you were there before the fire, you were there to conduct fire prevention services? Fire code inspection, things like that. And you never noticed any faulty wiring? No. You never noticed any fire problems with the building? Other than it's old, no. You never noticed anything that would cause you alarm to suspect that a fire would take place? Objection B. I don't know. Uh, no, I never, nothing ever stood out as being unsafe. You never cited Flinders Aluminum Company for having any sort of fire issues, fire safety issues? No, I have not. But after the fire, you never went back to the site to investigate for yourself? No, I did not. You never looked at the rubble that was left after the fire? Uh, just from the photographs. But you never personally went and saw the site? No, I didn't. You never personally interviewed any of the witnesses to the fire? No. So the witness mentioned in Chief Olson's report, Allison Smith, you never spoke with her? No. You never spoke with any of the investigators that were on the ground after the fire? No. You never f spoke with the person who did the chemical analysis of the victim, George Avery's clothing? No. You never spoke with the coroner who did the autopsy report of the victim? No. So let me just make sure I got this straight. All you did, Mr. Pincus, was look at the reports that were provided to you. Correct. Thank you. Well, that's exactly what I asked for, incisive and surgical.